All right, everybody, Mikey Kid Outdoors here. Got a quick little video. I got a uh, Nyko false bottom for my stove. So one side here doesn't have a lip on it, and this other one's got a full lip. So when you put these in the stove, you meet that one without the lip over, and then depending on how wide you need that to be, you can just slide that over till you get the right width. And they have two sizes of these. They got a medium and a large. This is the medium. This is about 16 and a half inches deep. And the large one I think is like 20 and a half or something. But I measured my stove and it's 19 inches on the outside, but then you've got lips and stuff. So the inside distance it's a little bit deeper than 16 and a half, but that basically will fit the medium stove that I got from Stove Trekker. So there's the inside of the stove. And so you can just put the uh, piece with the lip in there first, and then the piece that's got the uh, open side, you throw in there and butt that up against the other side of the stove, and it overlaps. So what that's going to do for you is raise your floor up, say, three-quarter of an inch, roughly. So if you got any really hot embers for your fire, there's still some holes in here to allow airflow, but it's not going to burn out your bottom of your steel stove as quickly if you didn't have it in there. And the best part, too, is you can still fit all your junk inside the stove whether or not you have that false bottom in there. Doesn't really take up any space. So the false bottoms are available at Nyko's website, nyko.com. Um, they used to not be available out there, at least a few years ago when I checked. I got the stove. Uh, there was like a third party that had some. And third party won like 65 bucks. And it's like, no, nah, I don't want to spend that much. But the one at Nyko, I think it was like maybe 30 or 40 bucks. So it wasn't that bad in comparison. Uh, Weight-wise, it's, I don't know, three or four pounds, uh, what they quoted on this website. I'll try to put specs down below, but, uh, yeah, it's not too bad. Have that in there and, uh, you know, give a little more oxygen underneath the base of the fire and to protect the bottom of your stove from burning out prematurely. Now, if you have a titanium stove, you don't really have to worry about that, but if you've got one that's made out of thin metal like a Nyko stove, you probably want to add it at some point just to uh, lengthen the lifespan of your stove and uh, give it a little extra performance. So that's my beautiful Snow Trekker medium sized stove. And that's actually made by Nyko. The only difference is when you buy it from Snow Trekker, down there in the corner, you've got these little areas here where you can put little lodge poles through. So if you want to float that on the snow or whatever, you got an area that you can ride some logs in there and stabilize this up a little better. Well everybody, if you like what you've seen, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you again in the outdoors. As always, thanks for watching.